Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about how God makes um, everything beautiful in his own timing. Now before I get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. Comment down below any takeaways. Share somebody in need because remember, it's bigger than us. Now let's get into this video. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11, it says, Yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart. But even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. That means that God is not going to show you all the plans he has for your life. He promised to um, give us plans. He promised that. He has plans to prosper us and not to harm us. Plans to give us hope in the future. That's Jeremiah 29 and 11. He cannot show us everything because if he shows us everything, what's the point? You won't learn nothing. And so God has to give us bits and bits of pieces. But you have to know that there's a flip side. So right now you're seeing things falling apart. But soon or later, it will be a time when everything comes together. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 it says for everything there's a season a time for every activity under the sun that means there's a season for everything so right now you may be crying but guess what there's a time to laugh too and so you will not always be in the same situation don't let this season that you in now fall into the next season realize that it's better for me I need you to right now to affirm out your mouth. Comment down below. God have better for me. Continue to say out your mouth. God have better for me. You're not going to always be in this situation. If you partner with God. If you believe he have better for you in your life. Listen. <clears throat> we have to... Remember that God created us. Remember that God knows us. He knew us before he formed us in our mother's womb. He knew us before the foundations of the earth. He knew us. He's our father. He know everything about you. He know the numbers of hairs on your head. And so what you need to know is, Stand on God's word. This word never returns void. Okay? This word right here is not going nowhere. This word right here is the truth. Okay? God is the way. And so we got to stand on God's word. He got so much in store for your life. This is just the beginning. Let me let you know this is just the beginning. Don't let nobody make you feel like this way supposed to be it. Don't let the enemy get in your head and make you feel like this is all there is to your life. The devil is a lie. That is a lie. Because there's more for your life. God has plans for your life. God says you are a masterpiece. There's better for you. And don't you say to yourself that there's not better for you. Watch what you speak over yourself. Watch what you say out of your mouth. Don't let no word curses come against you. Because you will prosper. Take time to work on the mind. To get your heart, get the heart cleaned out. Because God has better for you. It's on the way. You can't listen to what they say and them say. Excuse me. You can't listen to what he say and what she say. But see what God said. What did God tell you? What did his word say? And you got to be patient. Because remember, it says um, in his own timing. I mean, in its own timing. So it's going to happen in God's timing. You'll know when that time is, but know that it's coming. Expect it to come because it's coming. And so, listen, I just want to come on here and share that with you guys today. It is a time for every pain, listen, for every single thing. And so I want you to go to Ecclesiastes chapter 3. And I want you to read verse 11. 
or you could just read Ecclesiastes. Matter of fact, read Ecclesiastes 1 through 11. Because the ones above that, it's going to talk about a time for everything. It's going to tell, tell you different seasons. It's a time to do this and a time of this. Okay? And you go to God with what you are in whatever season. You go to God with that. Don't take, the, don't take none of the word out of context. But you go to God. And you see, God, what are you trying to tell me right now? What are you trying, what are you trying to reveal to me? You allow God to speak to you okay um i do have some cross reference on here so let's see romans 11 and 33 let's see let's see what we got here romans 11 and 33 it says Oh, how great are God's riches and wisdom and knowledge. How impossible it is for us to understand his decision and his ways. Listen. It's so much more. It's so much more to what God has for you. And so this is for the people that click on this video right now on this day right here. And this is for the tribe. My tribe that is on the way. If they begin to find me, listen, it's for you. Whatever date you clicked on this video, it's for you. It's for you to know that better days are coming. You are not your circumstances. You are not your storms. You are not the giants in your life trying to make you fall. You are not depression. You are not anxiety. You are not those, but you are royal priesthood. You are royalty. Say, I am royalty. You are a child of God. You are part of the kingdom. You are so much more. I want you to also call to action for self, because that is for self when I told you Ecclesiastics. But I want you to do another part. This call to action is to go to Google and look up God's promises on whatever you're going through. Whatever you're facing, God's promises on this. And I want you to take three scriptures. Matter of fact, no. Take two scriptures that, that shows you God's word. And you make sure you meditate on them and you stand on his word. And you come in communication with God. And you talk to God about it. Remember. God's word. Don't never return void. God's word will fill you up. Okay. God is always waiting for us to come to him. Because like I always say. He is a well that never runs dry. His love don't never run dry. His hope, his joy don't never run dry. His wisdom don't never run dry. His peace do not run dry. And so come to your father. God's going to do his part. But you also have to put action to and you have to do your part. You have to do your part speaking over yourself. You have to do your part and starting somewhere with your life. So don't give up. And don't throw in the towel. Better days are coming. So you turn that frown upside down. You flip that frown. And smile right now. <laughs> smile right now. And know that it's better for me. Better is coming my way. Better is, remember the Holy Spirit is within you. He's in you. He ain't going nowhere. That light is in you. Continue to get into your word. Continue to get some good spiritual leadership. Continue to get under. And allow God to speak to you. It's better for you. But you got to believe it. You got to believe it. So I hope this video blessed you. Today or tonight. That you don't leave the same way you came. And I pray this gave you hope. To hold on. It gave you strength. To hold on. And to take it one step at a time every day to start something. It don't have to be big. So, have a great day. God bless you.